what is going on guys jack here and i am back with another video of potential and confirmed summer transfers you guys seem to be absolutely enjoying this series so if you want to keep up to date with the news make sure to smash that subscribe button guys we're trying to hit 2500 subs and your support would absolutely be incredible and also smash that like button too to keep the series going so i know that you enjoy seeing these videos uh just a disclaimer these transfer are as of Tuesday the 19th of July so any deals that happen from here to now uh, obviously this video does go live on a Wednesday because I'm doing it the evening before uh, these are the big deals of today and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it so the first player we've got here is uh, Nacho Fernandez now uh, massive rumors been going out about the futures of him and Jesse Rodriguez um, recently they have been removed from the club's um, shop um, on the list of um, shirts um, they're not there anymore um, Obviously, Hesse is injured, and with Morata coming back, it looks like he could be going. And also, Nacho is close to apparently completing an 11 um, million euro deal to AS Roma. So, um, didn't really see much of him at Real Madrid, but hopefully now Real Madrid can get themselves a better centre back option. Next player we've got is Jonathan Cagliari, um, an Argentine who is in the obviously the Olympic squad for them. Um, it does play for Boca and has an incredible, incredible record in the South America. Uh, for goals scored um really good sign he was rumored to be joining tottenham but it seems now that he's on his way to west ham united with this deal being completed very soon he is a hot prospect can't wait to see him in a hammer shirt to be fair next player we've got is juan berg goodmanson obviously of charlton does play for iceland um had a really decent euros i do believe and uh, he's earned himself a move to fellow premier league club burnley Good deal for him, but obviously Charlton are in League 1 at the moment, so him getting that move is probably good. They've probably got him for decent money too. If he plays how he did play in the Euros, they've got themselves a really good player, Burnley. Next player we've got is Alvaro Negredo, one of the most bizarre transfers of the window so far. He is on his way to Middlesbrough on the loan deal from Valencia. And to be fair, this could be a really good coup for Middlesbrough. They've got themselves some good um, Spanish veterans into the club in Barajan, uh, Valdez, and now Alvaro and Negredo. This deal looks to be set to complete probably by the time this video does go out. So if it is so, what a great sign for Middlesbrough. They've got themselves a real, real target man. And someone that can find the back of the net too. Next player we've got is a Euro 2016 hero, is Hal Robson Carnu. He is a free agent. Now, there was rumours that he was offered 100 grand a week to play in China, but he has turned that down and looks like he could be set to play for BPL Newcomers' whole city. We've offered him in a contract. He had a really good Euro, so, but is he a good enough player to play in the Barclays Premier League? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm not too sure on Hal Robson Carnu, to be fair. Next player we've got is Riyad Mahrez, a player that has been in the headlines um, pretty much for the last week now. He's rejected a new contract approach from Leicester City. He's been linked with a move to Chelsea to follow a teammate, or former teammate, should I say at the moment, Ngulo Kante. Now, nah, he's talking about a dream move to FC Barcelona. Where does Riyad Mahrez want to go? Where will we end up? Will he still be in a Leicester shirt by the start of the season? We do not know. Next player we've got is Ener Valencia. Could be on his way to Lazio or Swansea, but no one is willing to play the £15 million price tag on the Ecuador International. Looks like Lazio are already, you know, near enough given up on advances from Valencia as they are looking to sign Surio Immobile. So, where does the future high for, uh, what, what, does it, what does it hold, sorry, for NF Valencia? Is he staying at the club? Will he leave? Will he be in the Swansea shirt next season? No one can really say for sure. Next player got is Sido Berahino, who has had a £20 million bid put in for him from Stoke City. West Brom are yet to accept. Time will tell what will go on with this deal here. He wants to leave the club. Don't think he wants to be at the Hawthorns anymore. And if he does leave, it might pay the paper move for this guy here, Diafra Sacco, to join West Brom on a club record fee. Now, Diafra is a great player. He's got, um, obviously, he knows where the net is. He's a player that never gives up, but he's really let down West Ham fans and the club uh, recently for, due to his poor, poor attitude, you know. Didn't want to go on pre-season with him, wants to leave the club, but he has been told until we get a striker into the club, Diafra Sacco is not going anywhere. He will be staying at West Ham. Next player we've got is Jason Denea. Um, obviously, the Manchester City player has spent last season out on loan, I do believe, to at Galatasaray. Um, still a young, very young prospect, actually. Uh, did play at Celtic 2 a couple of seasons ago. So, Jason Denea has been contacted or generate interest from Arsenal. Now this could be a good sign for Arsenal to come in as a backup centre back, um, get some really good first team experience too. Um, and I think it'd be a good move for him to be fair. Um, they are in for another centre back too. We'll see that coming up very soon. 
Next player we've got is Munir. He has signed a new deal at FC Barcelona. And um, it's a new five-year deal. And does have a 60 million euro release clause. So he could be saying put Barcelona for the very, very near futures. Um, it's a good deal for Barcelona. Obviously, he's a great young prospect. I don't want to lose him on, um, you know, less money. So I'm happy for him. I really am. Next player we've got is Sergi Sampa. Another player that has, in fact, signed a new deal for FC Barcelona. Again, another good one for him. New five-year deal with a 40 million euro release clause. Good deals for them. Obviously, Sergi Sampa was generating a lot of interest uh, from Arsenal. Next player we've got now is Wissem Ben Yedda. West Ham, PSG, uh, amongst other clubs, are chasing the signature of the French forwards. Uh, obviously, Unai Murray, uh, the new uh, PSG manager, is really, really fond of Ben Yedda. Wanted him at Sevilla, now he wants him at PSG. That could be enough to see him join the club at West Ham. Have been told by a in the know reporter, a very res re respected one, an ex uh, West Ham employee. If you want to go check him out, I'll put him in the description down below. Um, that we have a decent chance of signing with Sam Benyeda. So he could be a hammer by the start of the season. And another player that has generated interest from West Ham is Mario Mandzukic. The Croatian uh, has had his name put forward from Stavan Bilic to the owners to try and advance to sign the player. Obviously, he is 31 years old now, or 30 years old, should I say. I still think he's a decent striker, can definitely get some goals in for the club. Uh, very interesting to see what the future does hold for Mario Mandzukic. Has he got a future at Juventus? I'm not sure if they're trying to sign Gonzalo Higuain. Next player we've got is Gino Wijnaldum. Um, wants to leave Newcastle. Liverpool are in pole position. It was Everton before. Now it's Liverpool. They're looking to get him into the club. And he could be on their way to their pre-season tour in America, I do believe, over in the States very, very soon. Uh, this still looks like it's happening very fast. And what signing would be for Liverpool? Very decent player. Definitely Newcastle standout uh, player last year. So it would be interesting to see what the price tag is. I suppose Newcastle fans are not happy about this one one bit. Next player we've got is Jordes Kevin Nkudu. The Marseille man is on his way to Tottenham Hotspur for around about, I think, 10 to 13 million euros, I want to say. Um, good deal. He's a very young and bright talent. Obviously, they did buy it in G last season, and that Nkudu is going to add to their ranks with great young strikers and uh, wingers in the club. Uh, I would definitely be intrigued to see if he has a, a role to play for this Tottenham team. I think it's a bargain getting him for that press, and... I think it's a decent play. He was scattered by West Ham, but now he seems to be on his way to Tottenham Hotspur. Next player we've got is Adam Ljanic. Has completed the move to Torino for around about 8 million euros, I do believe. So good move for them. Uh, I know he had quite a decent season a couple of years ago, and if he can unlock that form that he's obviously created um, in previous seasons, I believe for Fiorentina, he can definitely be a good player for Torino. Uh, maybe a fresh start for him is what he needs. Next player we've got is probably one of the most shocking ones of the window so far. Joe Allen is wanted by Jose Mourinho and Manchester United. A Liverpool player hasn't joined Manchester United for, I believe, over 50 years, which is absolutely crazy. Um, so, will this still happen? The Welshman did have a really good Euros, but is that just, uh, is he just going to be a, another case of that, you know, international tournament hype? Um, I'm not too sure. Interesting to see where Joe Allen will be next season and um, will we want to stay at Liverpool with all this interest from other bigger clubs now? Next player we've got is Axel Witzel. It looks like Inter are trying to take him under the noses of Chelsea and Everton, signing the Belgian international. Inter will offer him first team football, same as Everton probably could do. It just comes down to his preference now. Um, I'm not sure where, if, he, if, if he will go to Inter Milan. I'm not sure what's going to happen with this one here. Axel Witzel might not be in Russia for very much longer. Next player we've got is Liano Bellucci. Apparently, Manchester City are very close to signing him for around about £35 million. Pounds. A very good signing. One of the standout defenders in the Euros last, um, last time out. He was really good, and I can't wait to see him in a Manchester City shirt if this deal does go through. Matthias Ginter is another player linked to Arsenal from Borussia Dortmund. They do not want to sell their young talent, but money talks in this game, and Arsenal want another German defender. Maybe to replace... Per Mertesacker, he's still very young, he's had a decent season for Dortmund, can play centre back and right back. Uh, would it be a good deal? Don't know. Next player we've got is Hector Bellerin, he is attracting a lot of interest. Barcelona are looking at him, now Manchester City are looking at the Spaniard. Now, this is only rumoured interest, nothing formal has been approached now. Um, will he stay at Arsenal for the future? I don't know. I think in the future, I can see him going to either Real Madrid. Or Barcelona. Um, again, no one knows what the future holds, but Hector Bellerin is definitely one of the hottest prospects at right back in the game today. 
And the last player we do have is Diego Lopez, attracting interest from Chelsea to be their new backup goalkeeper. So what does that mean for Azmir Begovic? Could he be leaving the club? Oh no, what is happening for Chelsea at the moment? This is the transfers here today, guys, that I've all gone through. If you have enjoyed them, make sure to smash that like button. Which ones are the most likely ones to happen? Feel free to start a discussion in the comment section down below. I look forward to hearing your comments. As always, guys, have a really nice day. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So never miss a video from me ever again. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.